Okay, number 12. What's important to remember on this is we got to do parallel and perpendicular lines to horizontal or vertical lines. So draw an X, Y axis. If the line is horizontal, it's going to be Y equal a number and it has a zero slope. Okay, so if the line is flat, it's going to be y equal a number and the slope is zero. Draw another x, y axis. If the line goes vertical, it's going to be x equals a number and the slope is undefined. This would not even be a function. Okay, this would not even be a function. So a flat line is going to be y equal a number, a vertical line will be x equal a number. So we're going to write our answers like this. Okay, so on the first one, which lines can be perpendicular to the line y equal negative 3? If it's y equal, the line's flat, and we want it perpendicular, so it's going to do like this, isn't it? So a line perpendicular to the red line right here will go through the x-axis, it'll be vertical, won't it? Okay, so the answer to this would be x equals a number. Which lines can be parallel to y equal negative 3 or to any other horizontal line? If this is horizontal and it's parallel, it's going to stay horizontal in it. So to the answer to this one would be y equals a number. Okay, which lines can be perpendicular to the line x equal negative 3? This is going to be your x equal negative 3 line and it would be perpendicular. It would be a horizontal line, right? If it's a flat line, it's going to be y equal. So the answer to this one would be y equal. And the last one, which lines can be parallel to x equal negative 3? If it's parallel to this line, it would be vertical, would it? Okay, so this would be x equals a number. So on these right here, you're trying to figure out if it's vertical or parallel, or vertical or horizontal. A vertical line is x equal a number. A horizontal line would be y equal a number.